Most of us have been running the furnace for at least a week now, but tenants at one apartment building in Lansing have had to bundle up instead because they had no heat. That changed earlier this afternoon after we started investigating this morning. Police who live there say they haven't had heat at all this fall, and even though there's heat now, tenants there say that doesn't fix all their problems. Megan Heiler reports. It's usually, I mean, like, seriously freezing. I mean, like, and I'm, I never, never get cold. Patty Vaness has lived in Porter Apartments for a little over a year. The building is owned commercially, but also receives subsidies through the Federal Department of Housing and Urban Development. I haven't been able to, to do much of anything because it's so cold. And that's just the start of it. Vaness says her ceiling caved in on her bed a year ago. She told management, but nothing was done. Um, and if I was, at that time, if I was laying in my bed, or my grandson, because he was spending the night that night, um, we would have been hurt. Vanessa's ceiling in her bathroom is caving, and just today the water was shut off due to a major water leak. She wanted to share her story because she is worried about the apartment's older residents. They, they get sick easier because of their age and their health. And just because we don't have money doesn't mean, you know, that they should be treated any different. I'm Megan Heiler. Fox 47 News. We did reach out to the building's management, California Commercial Investment Group, but haven't received a response. Both the water and heat were restored after we asked the Department of Housing and Urban Development to look into the problems. If you live in federally subsidized housing and have problems with your basic utilities that management will not fix, authorities say you should call HUD.